An employee at North High School is accused of inappropriate relations with underage students. Tonight, the allegations and what victims need to know. Good evening. Good to have you with us here at 5 o'clock. I'm Tammy Melchok. And I'm Jim Scott. Our top story this hour, he was entrusted with looking after students at North High School. But tonight, the school's equipment manager, Edwin Rodriguez, is accused of engaging in sexual misconduct with students there. 17's Aton Wallace has been looking into this case and joins us now with the latest. Aton? Well, those charges include misdemeanors and felonies, and tonight, relatives of students at that school say they're concerned. It's a model that hangs proudly in front of North High School in Oildale, home of the stars. And tonight, the school may also be home to victims of sexual misconduct. The Sheriff's Department confirmed an employee at the school is accused of inappropriate sexual behavior with minors dating back to 2015. His name? Edwin Rodriguez. Current high school district confirms the 40-year-old was hired in 2009 as a walk-on football coach. He later became a substitute campus security employee before he was hired in 2011 as an athletic equipment manager. Rodriguez faces 11 felony charges and 13 misdemeanors. Those felonies include lewd acts with 14 and 15-year-olds and sexual penetration by force. And as for the misdemeanors, he's charged with annoying or molesting a child in addition to sexual battery. Court documents reveal victims are accusing Rodriguez of sending, quote, numerous sexually explicit pictures and videos. The documents go on to say Rodriguez kissed a victim and that he touched one of the victim's legs before moving his hands towards her genitals. 17 News went to Rodriguez's house today for comment. Is anybody home? But it appears no one was there. It's just not right. James Partain's two grandsons are students at North High and his granddaughter graduated two years ago. He says he's concerned. They need to pay attention over there and, and, and watch the teachers or the staff, whatever. And it just seems like they can get away with nearly anything they want to, whenever they want to. Attorney Matt Clark has represented many victims in similar cases. He helps train coaches in the Kern High School District. I come in and I spend about half of my presentation talking about this very issue, inappropriate sexual relationships between coaches and people in the athletic departments of the Kern High School District and their students. One of the rules that I give to the, the coaches that attend our trainings is do not text message a student one-on-one. -on -one. There should never be a situation where you are text messaging a student one-on-one. -on -one. This grandfather says if the charges are corroborated, he wants justice. He's sick, sick in the head, and, and or to be in jail, or to be in prison, big time. In a statement, a representative with the Kern High School District said in part, quote, we care deeply about the safety and well-being of our students, and our sympathies go out to the victims and their families. Now, we have posted the rest of that statement on our website, kget.com. And we should point out Rodriguez's wife, Josie, a cheerleading instructor at the school, has also been placed on administrative leave. If you are a victim, there are options. You can call KCSO at 861-3110 or secret witness at 322-4040. In meantime, Rodriguez's bail has been set at $175,000, and he is due in court on Thursday. In studio, Eitan Wallace, 17 News.